All right, let me see. Miss Emily got that for the day. Whoa. Emily Chan. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is probably more of a, a gratitude, you know, so wherever you are, G, if you're listening, I want to tell you thank you. Um, so what's been going on for the last few days, I've been listening to G's new book, you know, in the car. And um, sometimes I feel disconnected from him. Like, I want to spend more time with them. And it's, it's such a blessing that on Audible, if you guys are interested, you get to listen to G talk, you know? And so, like, when I'm in my car, I'm just listening to him, and I'm crying, and I'm laughing, and, and he's telling st the stories, and I, and I know some of the stories because I've heard the homies tell me the stories. So I know, you know, in some of the um, books, he uses our names, some of them he doesn't. And... Um, but I know the homies, you know, because I know the stories. And um, and he has, and what I keep hearing for me right now, and I'm going to listen to it a few times and I'm going to read it because I just, I need to embrace it all, you know. But what's hitting me right now is I remember having the conversation with G standing right here and the lobby was empty and I said, G, am I going to hell? And he looked at me confused. You know, and now that I've known G for 10 years, now I, I, now I know, right? Like when he looks at us like that. And he's like, what do you mean? I said, am I going to hell because I'm a lesbian? Because growing up, you know, um, going to the, the Sunday school I went to, I was going to hell for everything. You know, like, I was going to hell. You know, I remember giving the little girls my, like when we would have church uh, parties and stuff, I would give the little girls my cupcakes, like if there was a guest. Because just to hear the Sunday school teacher tell me, that's another uh, diamond in your crown in heaven. And I was trying to collect everything I could, you know, as a little girl, because I was going to hell, you know. Um, so when G looked at me, he told me, Emily, you are so perfect in God's image that God can't even look upon you because your, your light shines so bright. Amen. And I remember looking at G with amazement and confusion. And then relief came over me. And I thought to myself, if this man, who I believe, still to this day, is so close to God, believes this, then who the hell am I not to? Amen. And that day, G returned me to God, you know? But I still, I still struggle where I remove myself from God. Sometimes on a daily, sometimes on a weekly. At a good time, it'll be monthly, you know, maybe six months. But I still do that. Because what I've learned is that I've been embedded with this negativity for so long that it still creeps in. And listening to G, all I'm hearing him tell me over and over through the parables, and he says, you know, he, he tells the parables so that all of us can, because one story might not hit me, it might hit Hector, and, and that story might not hit the next person, but he tells it in so many different ways that you're bound to get it. And what I hear is that all of us are perfect the way that we are. And, and also what I hear is, Emily, stop trying to be perfect, because you already are. And me and Jose were talking yesterday, you know, and Jose basically integrated the same thing to me, like, stop telling yourself the negative, neg the negative thoughts, the negative stories. We are exactly who we were meant to be, as it says on the shirt. It's not just a saying on the shirt, it's true. But on a daily basis, we remove ourselves from our true light, from our true love, because we want to believe a story that was taught to us at a very young age. And not even maybe someone didn't tell us a story to embed it in. The circumstances around us told us that lie, and we believed it. Or, we, or, or no one told us anything, and the circumstances around us led us to come up with our own narrative, our own story. And we weren't taught, so the stories that we made up were so far-fetched. But today, we walk like, um, I said, we walk in this door and it's a miracle. And you know, like, I just want to integrate to you guys that we are exactly, you know, Jesus says it all the time, and I don't always pay attention, but I've been listening. We have such a loving God. He is so merciful and so great that he has no time to think of nothing negative. The only one that thinks of anything negative is us. You know, like anything outside of love is not real. Man has made jealousy. Man has made hate. Man has made all these negative things, not God. So when you guys, you know, start thinking negative of yourself and stuff, there's a saying, right? 
We are made in God's image. Is your God not perfect? Because mine is. Thank you. Amen.